Let's take a quick look at our proposed course in VR for Becker's CPE soft skills training in conflict management. The idea is that the course in VR would be immersive learning, total engagement, story-driven, scenario-based, experiential, and by way of VR and game-based learning would have immediate feedback, access to rich performance analytics. It would also incorporate spaced repetition um, beyond the initial delivery. So this would be a course delivered in VR using the same curriculum, same amount of training time, yet with a paradigm shift in outcome. The intention, the design intention, is that this is a novice-friendly VR user experience. So this is not something that takes any time to, to master in terms of the controls or the use of the VR. It'd be delivered in mobile VR with Oculus Go. It's set in a real-world office environment with a cast of characters and it's supported with artificial intelligence in the form of a guide. So there's scoring and achievements, there's concept modeling activities. The capstone in the course are active scenarios where the learner has to practice and, and engage with skills in the course. And these are workplace scenarios. There's self-assessment as well as for the training manager, there's pre and post assessments. And then again, this is the same curriculum. So in this brief demo, uh, you're going to see how this would look and feel. And in particular, it's just one active character experience. I thought about what you said earlier, so I went to my boss to discuss exactly how she'd like me to complete my reports. It was a total disaster. She wouldn't listen to anything I had to say, even though I know I'm right. She gave me a list of things I have to do to improve and I am not going to do any of them. She had already given me some feedback, so I didn't ask for more. I just told her what I thought the reporting process should be. Who cares? She's not right. But if you really want to know, you can access the file through FOB. Well, what do you think? Which one do you want to discuss? One of the four assessment activities, game-based learning assessment activities, which is a cube puzzle. And the cube puzzle is is an ideal um, game mechanic to assess and reinforce having to categorize classify terms. So let's take a quick look at what that would be like being pushed out to the learner after the training in the web browser or mobile as in spaced repetition. So this would happen at um, day one post training and then day five post training and day 15 post training and perhaps day 45 post training learning activity. So now the categories are competing, compromising, avoiding, and accommodation as modes of conflict. And what we have to do is we have to arrange these terms so that they are all classified in one category per side. Incentives that I have in game-based learning in this particular case is that I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible with as few rail clicks. Each time I click on one of these rails on the side of the cube to manipulate it counts as a rail click. So I'm competing against my peers for fewest rail clicks, shortest amount of time. So there's an example of what the activity that had been done in VR pushed out beyond the VR experience into the web browser 
or to their mobile phone or tablet would be like in using spaced repetition.